they say all good things come in threes. So let's talk about three key attributes that make up a great product owner. One key attribute always has me baffled. It's the fact that the product owner is a respected authority within their team. So by that logic, why not just take the manager for that role? <laughs> oh, that's such a slippery slope. For the product owner, you want to have a person with the right skill set that is part of the team and also earns the respect of the team and not a person that just has the role because of the org chat. It's vital for creating a great product to have lively discussions that don't end because of the hierarchy. So then how do product owners become that elusive respected entity within the team? I found that the product owner who understands the customers, who have discussions about the product direction with customers and teams, they earn the respect from the team too. I think you're spot on with that observation. But as always with advice, how do I know that I'm striking the right balance, that I'm not overdoing it? Oh, it's super important to not be the bottleneck as a product owner. So as a product owner, it's always great if you take a team member along when you talk to customers so that they also understand firsthand from the customer what they need and that they also see how a product owner presents very proud the product to the customer. So there you have it. Three key attributes that great product owners have. They focus on the customer and establish a customer perspective within the team. They focus on the product and represent the product to the customer. And by doing those two things, they establish themselves as that respected authority within their team. Of course, these are not the only key attributes of a product owner. There are also key skills a minimal viable product owner needs to have. But this is part of the next episode.